guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my countertop setup. Let's start over here, right there. This, this utensil holder, which is dirty. Oh gosh. Let's try that again. All right, guys, so this utensil holder, now that all the splatters, and dirty stuff is out of the way and washed away. Um, I found this one at uh, TJ Maxx. Um, I was actually looking for a Radon one, but I saw this instead and I thought it was cute. And it works for my wooden utensils for cooking. And over here, we've got the spoon holder. And of course, this one is Radon. And mine says stir, I love it. Next is the salt and pepper grinders. And this one is from Etsy and it is Ray Dunn inspired as you can see I love all the distressed feature of this salt and pepper grinders I really love it it is super easy to use it comes out from the top and you fill it down there and then you grind and stuff um, I would suggest you get some kind of container thing to contain all the messes because sometimes it will come out um, this is actually a candle holder that I got for free from Ikea by being a member and I never really used it so I've always used it for my kitchen stuff like this was on there previously like this but I like it right here this is just like a random oil dispenser that I found from Target or Walmart or one of those stores these are my favorite and the cutest and the most awesome thing in this kitchen i really really like this the this is a seasoning rack and it is fully customizable like you can i think you can choose if you want black with what with cream letters or white with black letters i chose this one of course because my kitchen is hella dark so i need white to um, counteract the darkness i've got 12 of my mostly used seasoning that i put in here so i've got parsley dill basil turmeric five spice chili powder taco seasoning pepper onion powder paprika garlic powder and seasoning salt uh this is from the same seller by the way she uh makes these and she makes the rack as well this bottle is not stickers or anything it is actually like you can feel that it's embedded in there and inside it it looks like this so you can pour out what you need or you can sprinkle it on this is a really really nice feature i really like this because i do a lot of measurements I don't eye things very well. You know how some people can be like, you put a teaspoon of this, one fourth teaspoon of this. And this one is one of the longer seasoning, which is taco seasoning. I have another one that says seasoning salt. She will fit whatever you need in your spice bottle. And also, I just wanna let you guys know that you need to stop buying taco seasoning at the store and just make your own because you probably have all the ingredients already and this is what i did okay so moving on this is a really nice thing to have like i mentioned earlier i need all the measurements guide guidance that i need so this one is perfect i got this at target in a dollar section and i'm pretty sure this wasn't a dollar i think it was like three dollars but I have had this for a couple years now. This next one right here is a felt letter board and it is from feltlikesharing.com and if you want to find him on Instagram, it's felt letter boards. If you follow my Instagram, I use these felt letter boards a lot and it's perfect for holidays and special events and occasions. Um, it does come with its own letters but these ones specifically, it's from uh, Etsy. I think it's words with meaning. Um, you'll see the links down below. I don't remember it, but I love this gobble gobble sign. <laughs> I mean, gobble gobble lettering. This is a radon inspired font at the top here, and on the bottom, it is uh, gobble. It's for fall 
and they also have like Christmas stuff too but I just put these together because it looks so cute I mean it's fall season it's almost Thanksgiving and it looks cute in my kitchen this next one right here was from over there and I got it from Hobby Lobby it says vinegar water and oil but you can bet there's no water in here instead this is my soy sauce bottle and this one, it's rice vinegar because I just love rice vinegar. It is much more mild than the crazy white vinegar. And this one is olive oil. Next, I've got a random flour canister right there that I use for sweet potato flour, you guys. Have you guys tried those? Very crispy, really great for chicken tenders that you fry, of course. And on that side over there, i got my pasta and Hobby Lobby items. There's more herbs in there. Um, I got some bay leaves and some other random herb I forgot and some butter thingy that I don't like using. So now it is a decoration, purely decor. And my measuring cups right there, super cute. Th these are really cute. I actually forgot where I got them, but um, I need to use it more. I really like this. Um, it goes all the way down to one fourth cup. Oh, so cute. Finally, I got my eat sign, which is actually supposed to be hung, and it came with like um, little thingamabobs that you can hang like stuff on it. Like, I don't know. But I took it off because it looks cuter like that. And on this side, I got my rice cooker and knife and my sink full of dishes that I need to put away. All right, guys, that is it for my kitchen countertop setup ideas. I hope that you really like these ideas because they're really simple. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite item that you learned about today and if you have already checked it out before the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!